The SJ700 series is easy to operate with the digital keypad provided standard on all units. This keypad can also be detached and used for remote operation. Also available are optional multilingual versions with a copy function and a version with the built-in potentiometer. On the front of the keypad, we have a digital parameter display, which will display frequency, motor current, rotational speed of the motor, and alarm codes, depending on the status of the drive. In the top right corner, we have a power LED, which lights up when the power input to the drive is on, and under that, we have an alarm LED to indicate when the inverter has tripped. Below that is our display unit LEDs, which indicate the unit associated with the parameter display. Moving over to the left side, we have monitor LEDs to indicate the status of the drive in either run or program mode. Below that, we have the run key to run the motor, and next to that is the stop reset key to stop the drive or reset an alarm. Below that is the function key, which allows us to set or monitor a parameter value. And to the right of that are the up and down keys, which you will use to scroll through parameters and functions in increment or decrement values. To the right of those is the store key, which will write a new value to the EEPROM. By default, the drive boots up in the basic parameter mode, which will display most commonly used parameters. If you want to display all parameters, navigate to parameter B037 and set it to 00. For this video, we will be working in basic mode. To quickly set the output frequency, power on the drive. The display will show either three zeros or the previous value that was monitored. Press the function key to display the function menu and press the arrow key until you reach function F001. Now press the function key to open this function. Use the arrow keys to set the desired value and then press the store key to store the value. This will return the display to showing F001. After that, we will select the keypad to be the source of the run command rather than the default control terminal setting by navigating to parameter A001 and selecting option two. We will now set our keypad front panel run key as the source for the run command rather than the default control terminal setting. To do so, navigate to parameter A002 and change from option one to option two. Next, you can set the base frequency by navigating to parameter A003. We will set ours to 60 Hz. With all of these settings configured, we should be ready to run the motor. When finished, press the stop key to stop the motor rotation. You can view our full selection of Hitachi drives at galco.com.